In this question, we have to calculate the energy stored in the capacitor. Let's start by looking at how the dielectric material changes the capacitance. The permittivity of the dielectric material is twice that of vacuum. Let's consider this equation from subtopic 11.3, where C is capacitance, epsilon is permittivity, A is the overlapping area of the capacitor plates, and D is the distance between the plates. So for the dielectric material, epsilon in this equation is twice as much as that of vacuum. Since A and D are unchanged, doubling epsilon means that C, the capacitance, will also double. So the capacitance that we will be working with in this question will be 4.5 microfarads times 2, which is 9 microfarads. Next, let's use this equation, also from subtopic 11.3, where E is energy stored, C is capacitance, and V is potential difference. Substituting, we get E is equal to 1 half times the capacitance, so times 9 microfarad, which I will convert into farads by using this conversion, from the metric multiplier section of the data booklet, giving me 9 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farad, multiplied by 12 squared. Carrying out this calculation and rounding, we get approximately 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 joules for the energy stored.